Efforts to pump oil from the stricken cargo ship off the coast of New Zealand have been suspended due to rough seas. There are fears the Rena may break in two, with the New Zealand government saying the next 24 hours will be critical. The shipping company that chartered the vessel announced today it would provide $800,000 to help with the clean-up, but it said the money was a gift and not an admission of culpability. New Zealand correspondent Dominic Schwartz reports from Taronga on the Bay of Plenty. Recovery is well underway for these little blue penguins which were rescued covered in oil. The Rena recovery operation is not going so well. But again, I just underline and stress that it, uh, it, uh, it hangs in the balance in terms of what happens over that uh, next 24 hour period. No oil has been pumped off the ship since late last night. Four metre swells and strong winds made it too dangerous. The uh, bunker barge Awanuia was no longer able to remain safely attached to the rear of the Rena. 90 tonnes of fuel has been removed. There's 1,200 to go. At the current pumping rate, that'll take two weeks without a break. But more bad weather's on the way. Therefore, the solvers have uh, made the decision not to get back on the ship at this point. An incident such as the grounding of the Rena is every shipper's worst nightmare. The Mediterranean Shipping Company, which chartered the ship, says it has faith in the Rena's owners, Costa Mare. Even though the vessel was detained for a day by maritime officials in Australia over issues with its maintenance and cargo securing. We believe that the owners are first class operators. Uh, we've done business with them for a long time. The Prime Minister John Key today made his second visit to Tauranga since the ship ran onto the Astrolab Reef two weeks ago. The wildlife refuge has 230 birds in rehabilitation, some bruisingly feisty. That's from a, an Australasian gannet who did not appreciate being rehabilitated. The clean-up has so far cost more than $3 million. As for the total cost to the economy... We don't know what the total cost will be. Again, it will depend quite a bit on how successful we are in getting the oil off the ship. Maritime New Zealand says there's been another small spill of oil, but it's been blown offshore and has dispersed. Thanks to thousands of volunteers, the beaches along the coast here are largely clean, but oil is still washing ashore in small clumps. So the reality is that 100 kilometres of coastline is still very much under threat. How much under threat may be determined overnight. Dominic Schwartz, Late Line.